and we don't follow your kata for now, so we cannot just let you guys go like that without discussing another story. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, I think DJ Copy is melting our hearts, you know, like she's just all over the news <laughs> in this right now, you know, from the okay, that was Latan, but she was still yes, yes, she was yes, still yes, in yes, it. Yes. All right, so Nigerian disc jockey DJ Copy has said our billionaire father, Femi Otedola, always reminds her that she cannot take a well with her when she dies. And I think that's a very, very, very valuable lesson because you see a lot of rich people. You know, I was, somebody asked me from, okay, I'm not supposed to say this, but I will just use it because it's a perfect example. He asked me for money and I was like, dude, but I gave you money last week. And dude was like, ah, Edmond, he said it in Yoruba that I should be happy that they are even asking me for money. That they see a lot of rich men that they will tell them, go to hell with your money. That they know that because they know, yeah, okay, in the sense that there are a lot of people that they don't even want to act and the way they carry themselves, yeah, the way they behave, the way they even give you the money like mm -hmm. they're doing. They, they don't even need their money. But that little change they are getting from me with the joy that I give it and the joy in which they receive it because, yes, they receive it with a lot of joy. <laughs> so, yeah, so, and they do that. And that made me think that, oh, fam. It's okay to just give when you can have it, when, when you have it, right? Because you see a lot of people that they think that, ah, I can't spare this, I can't spare that, as if you go to heaven with the money or you go to hell. So it, as much as you can help, I think you should help the people around you. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, I think that is a very valuable lesson every parent should teach their child. That no matter um, how you feel, you're, you're financially stable and everything, always be ready to help those in need in front of you. And don't always make money like your number one priority. Because so many people, they, when they see money, they make it like, um, fine, money is quite important. No, like, buy me lunch. Can I, like I keep stressing, money is quite You not go to heaven <laughs> with your money. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Like I keep stressing, the money is quite important, but don't make it like number one thing in front of you, neglecting every other thing. Mm. As much as it's important, there's so so many other things that you should look for. I don't want to sound preachy right now, cause I, but I just have to add it. Like there's also the fact that you have to make sure that your conscience is good. Always seek um, the fact that you can enter heaven, cause me I believe. Okay, so um, where do you yeah. prioritize? And you believe that? Wait, 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 no, let that land do. Mm? You believe that you are entering? That I you believe want? you should seek the kingdom, like you should seek heaven as a person. Okay, so you believe you are going to heaven? I want to go In to all honesty. <laughs> do it. With all you have done in this world, <laughs> <laughs> will you make it? <laughs> yes. Let's yes. face it. Um, yes. well, where would you prioritize money? Because you said, you know, there's a lot of other things that are important. But would you prioritize money like top three, top five most important of things? Of course, it has to be on my top Obviously. three list. I'm just saying I don't make it like your number Of course, I'm yeah. just saying I don't make it like your main Family goal, like first. your number one mm. in your head. Thank you. Career two. Money three. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I, I like more money. I like money more than you. Because yeah. I'll do family first, money second, Two. then career, career three. Okay. Okay. Like I'll keep my career up to the side if you give me plenty of money now. <laughs> Nicely. That one addition. Ah. Okay. You got that one. Right? Nicely, but it has, it has to make sense. I mean, it's. it's I, I hope our MT is not watching. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this episode, just mm -hmm. watch something else. Uh, okay. um, yeah, I have to agree that it's it's really imp it's really important not to you know let money move you and stuff. And ob obviously, you can't take it to to heaven, heaven if that's where you're going. <laughs> like if it has said, um, but it, it's also important to know that money is important. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't think it's, Very. it's, it's I want it's, to wipe my tears with money. Yeah, and I, I no. think it's not really like for me. I've never really valued money in the sense of like because I, so, I, I sometimes see people hustle like that, and sometimes I wish I had that way. They're like actually mm. chasing the numbers, the figures. But I'm looking for things that can give me um, the ability to have to sup to supply my needs. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, and I know money does that. I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm. Anyway, it's in my head. Uh, either ways, I think it's important to not, while we're talking about it and releasing the money, kind of take it to heaven, and then, and then, and then, we're also being realistic that this thing is really important. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have a bias when rich people talk about money because I just feel like it's not the same, and you can have a very, like, like a dasco view about mm. money and how you chase money because you have it. Um, for other people, it's really important, and I think it's okay for them to really chase after it because it, it would help their lives and help mm -hmm. their families and all of that and their needs. But is it a good um, advice? Absolutely. I think most people, uh, most rich people, what they try to emphasize is like, fine, money is important, but money can really determine complete happiness for a person. Yeah. I think. 
Yeah, but I mean, it will help your happiness increase mm, a lot. But you can just... It's like saying that, you know what it is like, yeah? Let's say mm. everybody has like a 100% bar for happiness and then when you have a certain kind of money, you reach 80% happiness, right? And mm. then they're like, oh, more. You realize that the more money you get, you're still on that 80%. So that means money cannot get you mm. complete happiness. But you can't tell that to somebody who has like 20% happiness. No, so now chase money because they cannot get the 100% happiness that they're looking for. Like, mm. bro, the, ha <laughs> the money's gonna make me happier. Let me chase it. When I get to your level, then I can start saying, worry about other problems. yeah, you know, like, okay, so can I complete the rest of the happiness? Obviously, you should still practice good, um, good um, behavior like gratitude and, you know, contentment and all the balance in life and all of that, but it's still really important, please. Yeah, mm -hmm. money is very important. Yeah, I agree. So, but you know, shall go to anywhere with your money. You get me? When it's time to go, you still have to leave the money behind. And it's your legacy that you will definitely leave mm -hmm. behind. And I definitely am sure that Plus TV Africa's Tea Time has left a good legacy for you guys all week, right? Yes. Yeah, so yes, that you know, we like money too much, we can leave the job for the money. That's what you just said. If <laughs> Hey, we can leave the job for the money doesn't mean that we don't prioritize all that things oh, personally. Oh, yeah, we, we didn't give them a legacy. Uh, yeah, yeah, we no, gave them. We still gave them a legacy. Okay. And it's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter does at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. And in case you don't know, you have been sleeping on a bicycle. If you don't know, there's something called Tea Time Roundup. And this happens. And in case you want to see Fair my again, in our full element, you know, she's all by herself on that one. And yeah, she does the tea time roundup. So you can catch up on everything you missed. You know, we give you the juiciest, you know, something, something to make the palm juicy and um, smoothie. You know, we give you that. You yeah. <laughs> You can watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you will go to my co-anchor, Ifeolu Alma. And small thank you to Eniola with her bone. <laughs> you know girls, but, but, but for lying on live television i will not give you full thank you and of course the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is ife olua oshunkeye